The Sports Talk Recruiting Report is sponsored by Seawells Catering. All right, Seawells Catering brings you the recruiting report, very best recruiting report in the business and the very best catering business in the catering business. That is Seawells at 803-771-7385, online at seawellscateringsc.com. And the daily luncheon buffet for you is back tomorrow. Yeah, back tomorrow after a Monday off. So make sure you you get out and enjoy the daily luncheon buffet uh, as often as you can. Eleven till two for only fourteen fifty. Sea Wells on Rosewood Drive, crossing the fairgrounds. All right. So Friday night, if you left us, hopefully you didn't. About seven thirty. Gaffney offensive tackle shed Surratt. Six five two ninety announced a commitment to the Gamecocks at a party there in Gaffney. He'll take his official visit with the Gamecocks this weekend. And then over the weekend, South Carolina gained a commitment Saturday night from punter place kicker Max Kelly, six two two ten of Gallatin, Tennessee. He was in for that camp, a specialist camp on Saturday. London Baronis, who South Carolina also offered did not make it in. He said he wasn't able to make it in. And with Kelly committing, Barona says he's moving on to look at other opportunities. Kelly, highly rated by Cole's professional camps. Last season, 9 of 12 on field goals, long of 45, 33 of 38 on extra points, 45 yards per punt. Tennessee had also offered him. Westside quarterback Cutter Woods, 6'3", 205 has uh, been on quite the roll. He led the Rams to a state championship last season as a junior. He emerged as the state's top quarterback prospect for 2025, and last week he led the Rams 7-on-7 team to championships at South Carolina and Virginia Tech, and after his Thursday performance in Columbia, he landed an offer from Gamecock quarterbacks coach Dowell Loggins, who called him on Saturday with the word of the offer. And they continue to talk, and Woods is going to take an official visit to South Carolina this weekend, so we'll see where that goes from there. Wake Forest, Auburn, Indiana, East Carolina, Syracuse, Virginia, Virginia Tech, Coastal, Marshall, Appalachian State, and others have offered. Last season he passed for about 4,400 yards, 42 touchdowns, and eight interceptions. 2026 running back Jalen McGill, formerly a broom and now at Mountain View Prep, offered by Florida State and Auburn. 2026 offensive tackle Zion Giles of Carver's Bay was offered by Florida State. USC commitment, cornerback Shamari Earls went to Michigan over the weekend. He's going to Georgia this coming weekend, going to Athens instead of coming to Columbia as previously scheduled. He told 24-7 Sports that he is still committed to South Carolina, but he is looking hard at these other options. And so that might be one to keep an eye on from a decommit standpoint for South Carolina at this point. But maybe they can keep him on board. USC offered 2026 offensive tackle Michael Smith, 6'6", 315 of Vero Beach, Florida, and 2028 running back T.J. Williamson, 5'9", 160 of Lee, Florida. You know who came out of Lee, Florida? The great Derrick Henry. Came from Ulee, Florida. You can look it up. South Carolina won the top 10 schools to 2026 linebacker Shadarius Tootle of Mobile, Alabama. He was in at USC for a junior day in January. Offensive tackle Hardy Watts of Brookline, Massachusetts, named the top three Clemson, Michigan, and Wisconsin. He's been to Clemson and Wisconsin. He goes to Michigan this weekend. 2027 quarterback Ethan Royal of Cornelius, North Carolina. He worked out at USC on Saturday. He has offers from Arkansas and East Carolina, among others. Clemson target, 2026 quarterback Brady Hart was offered by Ohio State. River Bluff receiver Stephen Collier plans to announce his commitment on Thursday, and uh, he has uh, narrowed his list to he has narrowed his list to um, don't have that in my notes. Well, East Carolina is one of them. And the others are, off the top of my head, I think Marshall is the other. I'll double-check. J.O. Man receiver Keishan Henderson plans to announce July 4th. 
Gardner-Webb, Lenore Ryan, and North Carolina Central, the finalists. 26, Dillon quarterback Josiah Oxendine, offered by Miami of Ohio. 26, offensive tackle Zion Gills of Carver's Bay, was offered by Florida State. 27, quarterback Mason Holtzclaw, who's out of South Carolina, goes to school in North Carolina, offered by Florida State and Georgia Tech. Former USC signee safety Cameron Upshaw, transferring to Memphis after time in a junior college. Incarnate Word transfer quarterback Ryan Stubblefield, committed to South Carolina State. Blythewood defensive tackle Sterling Sanders, committed to Georgia Southern. Defensive back Brandon Rose of Charlotte, committed to Coastal Carolina. Baseball transfer outfielder Dalton Mayshore of St. Mary's, committed to USC. Indiana State transfer outfielder Dominic Listy, committed to Clemson, all MVC, and hit 324, 14 doubles, 34 walks, and 57 runs scored this past season. So, before we leave, I'm going to um, see if I can find the note that I could not complete. And that was the finalists for Stephen Collier. You don't happen to know that off the top of your head there, Chris. I guess he doesn't. Yeah, I guess he doesn't. Let me see if I can find it here real quick. I've got time. I want to complete it. It is Marshall in East Carolina. Those are the final two. Forgot to put it in my notes. Okay, that'll do it. Thank you, Chris, wherever you are. Yes, sir. And Oh, there you are. And thank you, Josh. See you tomorrow. <laughs>